Hello everyone, this is Revan from Digital Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 243. Qualcomm flagship processor going forward will have a single digit series and generation number naming structure. The company has confirmed the name Qualcomm will be used less in mobile related product names as it is separating the Qualcomm and Snapdragon brands. Qualcomm also says that it will only launch 5G capable mobile platform going forward. OnePlus 9 RT was spotted with a slightly tweaked moniker on the Google supported device list. Amazon India has now put up a Google search advert using the keyword OnePlus RT. The ad aims how the device might soon launch in India. OnePlus 10 Pro specifications have been revealed. This phone will come with a 6.7 inch QHD plus 120 Hz display, Snapdragon 8 generation 1 and a 5000 mAh battery. This flagship is expected to debut in China first with a global launch expected by April. Moto announced five smartphones. One of them was Moto G200. This device is expected to go official as Moto A just 30 in China. Ahead of it, the parent company Lenovo accidentally reveals a transformation edition of this handset. Moto launched its mid-range Moto G31 a little while ago in the global market. This device will launch in India by the end of November or early December. Moto G31 has an OLED panel, 48 megapixel triple rear camera, and a MediaTek Helio G85 processor. IQ and Poco to foray into the offline market in India between January and March 2022. Since IQ and Poco are sub-brands of Vivo and Xiaomi, they should have no trouble with the distribution and establishment exclusive stores in the country. We can speculate IQ and Poco will start with a trier one cities and gradually expand to other cities as well. Chinese tech giant Lenovo is expected to launch a new device which apparently will be a Snapdragon powered machine. Although it is not been confirmed whether it will be a laptop or a tablet, it is certain that it will be a powerful machine. Now thanks to the Geekbench listing, we have learned some significant details of this rumored model called as Lenovo QRD. The Lenovo QRD uses the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 CX chipset. However, it is not the old generation chipset rather than it is the Gen 3 chipset that is much Much more powerful than the Gen 2 chipset. Oppo entered the smart television category in October 2020. The company initially introduced two models, namely Oppo Smart TV S1 and Oppo Smart TV R1. Over a year after their debut, the later model has been confirmed to get a new variant after this week. Samsung Display, the display arm of global tech giant Samsung, has revealed a new microsite focus on its OLED technology. The new Samsung Display microsite is a rich platform for an array of several of the industry-leading technologies that will continue to drive the company as a global leader in innovation. Xiaomi India announced that it is working on a self-service repair program without going into much detail. And given that the announcement comes from the Indian branch, it is likely that the company is looking to test the new program in India first. Xiaomi just announced that as of November 22, 2021, MIUI global monthly active users have crossed around 500 million mark. This significantly around 15 percentage of the world now uses Xiaomi, Redmi, or Poco phone running MIUI. Along with this, the company also revealed that as of 2021, there are around 18.65 million new monthly active users in China and 100 million new monthly active users worldwide. Vodafone Idea has revised the price of its prepaid recharge plans in India. The base plan now starts at rupees 99 and go all the way up to rupees 2899. The new VI plans are effective from Thursday which is on November 25th. Twitter is getting serious about entering the e-commerce market. It is launching a feature that lets you watch live streams and shop products at the same time. This feature will preview on November 28th and will be hosted by Walmart and Jason Durlo. Truecaller announced on Monday that the service was hit by 300 million monthly active users mark. In a new milestone for the caller identification app, the Swedish company has revealed that the Truecaller has grown by 50 million monthly active users over the last few years and the India continues to remain its latest target. And with over 73 percentage of its total users, back January Truecaller has revealed that the half of the Indian smartphones had Truecaller instead. A PUBG new state essential update is now been rolling out on Android devices in India. An update for iOS devices will start rolling out in the near future. Players will get a compensation for updating the game to a new version. 
Amazon Prime subscription annual price was increased back in October. While the membership fees was revised a month back, it never went live as Amazon was still promoting the rupees 999 annual plan for all its users. It looks like now Amazon is all set to bring the new pricing of the Amazon Prime annual subscription. The new Amazon Prime subscription price is expected to go live from December 14th as the screenshot reveals that the rupees 999 offer for Prime subscription will end on December 13th. Apart from the annual subscription cost, Cost. If you refer a monthly plan, it will cost us rupees 179 and rupees 459 for the three month plan. Facebook has noted that it will not roll out end-to-end -end encryption for Facebook and Instagram application until 2023. Last year, Facebook enabled cross-messaging platform with Instagram. Instagram and Facebook enable users to activate disappearing messages in managed mode. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.